Welcome back, folks, to Scripting for Linguists. In this episode, I have this question. Are Python 3.13 and Julia 1.11 faster than previous versions of themselves? And how about against each other? Which one is faster when we pit those two together? Against each other. So the reason I make this video now is because in a previous video, I showed that Python has um, sped up with its execution um, from 3.12 to four previous versions of Python. And so now I'm wondering what's gonna happen with 3.13. And also, Julia was recently updated um, with this version 1.11. And so I'm curious to know what's going on with speed of a very basic and very frequent task in corpus linguistics, which is to get the frequencies of words in a file. Here is um, a blog post about the highlights of the Julia 1.11 version. They talk about the fact that they now implement Array in pure Julia. And they say it allowed a few important data types that don't need all of array, Array's features, such as dictionary, to avoid a small amount of overhead. This has led to great performance improvements. Awesome. My follow-up question is how much performance improvement are we talking? All right, so we're gonna look at my code here real quick. This is the Python, it's a super simple script, right? You read in. Um, all the text in one file, you get all the words out, you do 10 iterations to get 10 trials, right? And then here, just loop over those words, throw it into a dictionary. Very simple and frequent corpus linguistic task. Awesome. That's my Python. Here's my Julia, very same idea. I have one little small function to grab the text from the um, file, but the same basic idea. Uppercase it, get all the words out, do 10 trials, make an empty dictionary, Throw the, um, throw the words into the dictionary, date frequencies, and time all that. It's that simple. So let's go back, or let's actually jump over to our old friend R. And let me pull R over here. And here is R. And I have a very simple box plot. And here we have the results. Let me, yeah, we're looking good. Let me not make it so big. Pull it to about right there. Good. So the left two pot, um, plots or boxes in purple are Julia. So this is Julia 1.10.5, the previous um, release of Julia, Julia 1.10.5. And then here, the second plot here below in the bottom part of my screen is Julia 1.11, the new version of Julia at the time of recording this video. Good, so yeah, the first answer is yes. Julia's gotten quicker from uh, version 1.10.5 to version 1.11.0. We can see that it's a pretty big jump. We're going from an average of about 28 seconds to get through about 100, uh, 230 million words down to an average of about, um, I think it was 14. Good, that is a good improvement. That is almost a two time speed up in Julia. Very nice work. On the top right of this plot, we see the yellow box. This is Python. So the third, or the first yellow box here, the third from left box is Python 3.12.6, the previous version of Python. And the right box in yellow is uh, Python 3.13.0. So yeah, we do see an improvement there. Good, there's a speed up. The average uh, from 3.12.6 is about 34 seconds to go through 230 million words. And the average in 3.13 is about 30 seconds. So there's a four second or so speed up. Not a huge speed up, but there's a speed up there. So to answer our original question, um, let's jump back to it right here. Are Python 3.13 and Julia 1.11 faster than previous versions? Yes, they are. They have both in increased in speed in this very simple task of getting all the words in a big file into a dictionary, getting the frequencies into a dictionary. Um, and then the next question is, how about against each other? Well. If we go back to R, we can see that um, the second from left box, this um, right purple one down here at the bottom part of my screen, is Julia 111. And it, it has an average speed of about 15 seconds to get through 230 million words and get the frequencies into a dictionary. Whereas with Python on the right, far right of the um, screen, it is averaging about 30 seconds. So, wow. Yeah, Julia is about twice as fast. Now, Julia 111 is about twice as fast as Python 3.13 with this very common and simple corpus linguistic task of getting frequencies in a, 
in a file. So yeah, I um, also did a little bit of did a Nova just to make sure we're, we're all clear um, about the statistical significance. And yeah, we do see statistical significance between all of those um, those pairwise comparisons in that plot I just showed. That Pi, that Julia's gotten quicker, Python has gotten quicker, um, statistically significantly so, and that um, Julia 111 is significantly faster than Python 313. So there you have it. Python is in increasing in speed. Julie's increasing in speed. Everything's going cool. They're getting faster and faster. Um, so that is the take home message of this video that they are both getting quicker. They have gotten quicker with the most recent versions of Python and Julia. There you go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. See you next time.